I tried Taco Bell fries for the first time. Why y'all ain't telling me them things is blessing? They got. Good morning, guys. So I'm finally going to the doctor today. I have been going to um, the primary, what is it, urgent care for my chest because I'm having, I have like sternum pains and they said it was like teats syndrome or something like that. But I went back twice and I still have the pain. So they suggested I go to like a primary care physician. So I'm going to one now. I'm really nervous because I just feel like doctors have filled me a lot in the past. So yeah, and I would prefer to have a black doctor, but I can't find one. And I literally had to wait three weeks to even get in with this doctor and the rest of them were booked up even more. So yeah, I'm basically getting ready to go to the doctor. We just got to brush our teeth, put some clothes on and go. I'm feeling anxious. <laughs> I'm feeling so anxious about it. Um, yeah, so that's all just like vlog that. I took off work today because my appointment is at 1030, but it's like the opposite direction. I go one way for work and then I go another way, the other way to get to this doctor. So it would have been like 40 minutes from work or something. So I decided to take off and not go to work because work is stressful anyway. And my stress levels are really high, which is half of the reason why I'm having a pain and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, so I'm about to brush my teeth and get ready. I might put my hair in a ponytail. I know they like check your ears and stuff. I'm like, even the smallest things like that, like, oh, they might check my ears. So I'm gonna just pull my hair back so it's easier. Like anxiety just be doing, doing this thing sometimes. But yeah, so I don't have a vlogging camera. So I'm probably just gonna vlog um, on my phone, which is what this is. And I'm anxious and I'm by myself. So yeah. But they sent me, me show my address. they sent me the forms in the mail, which is different. And 10 minutes, what is it? 10 minutes. The sky is so blue. Yes, yeah. Okay, so I pulled my hair back, y'all. This doctor is at a fucking hospital. It just took me like 10 minutes to find parking. And now I'm walking all the way down from one end of the hospital to the other end of the hospital where the doctor's office is on. Oof, see, this might be having anxiety. So yeah, it is so hot. It's only 10 in the morning. It feels like it's like 100 degrees out here. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Um, yeah. So yeah, I got a referral. I'll tell y'all more when I get home. I'm still anxious about like filming out here. Guess who didn't put on sunscreen today and I'm walking. It's hot as hell. <laughs> I 
I should have used that sunscreen moisturizer today, y'all. I filled my skin. Yeah, I love black people. I was like, the lady that was doing my, um, whew, it's so hot, it's hot. The lady that was doing my blood work, she asked me if, because my last name, she asked me if I knew somebody that she knew with the same last name. <laughs> And I'm like, this is, I feel like this is the only stuff that black people do, but I love it so much. She made me feel so much better. Just her energy. You ever meet somebody and their energy just so, like, I love that. I feel like you don't come across that kind of energy, especially at the doctor or, like, places like that. So I love that. We had a whole last conversation. It's like she's my new auntie or something. But yeah, okay, I'm about to head home. Hi. Y'all see my face? I do not feel good today. <sighs> Here's my battle wound. Like she took the blood and she was like, oh girl, you I got that filled up quick. She's like, it bled. She's like, you trying to bleed through. She asked me, was I on blood thinners? I'm like, um no, like, am I okay? <laughs> but yeah, so I got McDonald's. <laughs> and JB. I made it home. And then after this, uh, we could talk about what the doc was talking about, I guess. And go from there. Oh my god, so hi guys. I've been looking rough in these videos, but to be honest, this is how I be going to work. <laughs> like <laughs> I'll be so tired and I'm going through a rough time in life. Like I just don't be feeling like getting dressed, so this is half of the reason oh my god this music in the background hold on but what i was saying is i realized half the reason that i haven't been vlogging oh my god this freaking quality sucks okay i just been to say i realized half the reason why i haven't been vlogging is because i be wanting to vlog but i don't have makeup on and then i'll be like oh i need to be a bad to be on youtube because all the girls on youtube are like skin and pretty and i be in my head so here I am, but yeah, I just got off work. Um, I went to the doctor yesterday and I got my blood test back today and it was like my cholesterol is high. One of the liver enzyme things are high and my red blood count is a little high. They're like all slightly high. They're not super high over the um, threshold, but they're kind of high. So I'm gonna have to work on that. I think battling with so many different things is just really like, it's just trickling down. But um, right now I'm on my computer and I had another issue with my protection of my crop tops. So I'm just gonna refund them all. It really sucks because um, finances are really tight, but I don't wanna keep holding people's money and st stuff just keep happening. It's literally one of those situations where every time I fix something, something else happens. And I'm just like, I'm very disappointed with how things have happened for me, but with like what has happened in my life over the last couple months, it's just like, I tried to hold on. I tried to get the crop tops. They were literally the last like item that I was behind on, but my vendor is now being weird. So I'm just going to refund it. It really sucks. I really want to cry right now, but I'm just trying to like not do that. But I'm really like upset, but I'm basically sending emails saying we're refunding the money da -da, and stuff like that. And yeah, it'll be a clean slate. I, it sucks because I know I feel like people are going to lose trust in the business just because I had to refund those items, but I literally did it because I don't want to have people win like eight months for an item just because I'm being stubborn, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so I got off from doing that. Probably gonna drink some wine, even though I'm like, that liver enzyme was looking kind of wild, but I'm probably gonna drink some wine today. I'm very sad, like I've been depressed and just not in the mood, like all day today, all day at work and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just one of those days. And I'm like, oh, I said I was gonna vlog, but this is why I haven't been vlogging because I just be, like this like i just keep going through it it's just like every week is something else like <sighs> but yeah and then i'm like i know people on the internet just kind of waiting to see this because i feel like a lot of people just be room for this bad stuff to happen in the first place but yeah so yeah that's what i'm doing and then when i get done i'll probably drink a cup of wine and lay down i'm super fatigued like i feel dehydrated fatigued and I'm just frustrated with the whole like doctor thing in general because I have depression and I have PCOS or PCOS, I call it PCOS. They all give you fatigue. So like trying to figure out what the fatigue is, it's rough. And then I'm gonna just put y'all. And then my doctor um, set me up with the ortho doctor, ortho I think something, some, some type of bone specialist. I'm going to that doctor 
next Tuesday to help with my teeth and my um, sternum pain that I'm having. I really feel like somebody trying to play with my life like I, like I got a voodoo doll or something around there. I hope I don't. Fingers crossed. But I'm just like, what is happening? Um, so I'm going to the specialist about that. And because um, that pain, it was supposed to be temporary. And I first got diagnosed with the teeth syndrome in February. And then it didn't get better. And I went back in July. And then they're like, you're at the urgent care again, girl. You're back. And the first time they gave me muscle relaxers, that works, but it makes you sleepy. And then the second time they gave me naproxen, and that worked, but then I ran out and I was still in pain. Um, so now they, they sent me to, the, that's how I got to the primary care. So now it's all full circle. He just gave me more naproxen. And y'all, I just been having a time, like, like, lips dry like everything <laughs> y'all have days like that um so i went to the doctor i took y'all with me yesterday i was spazzing out because i was just like stressed because of all the stuff that was going on and now i'm bending out and it hurt but anyway i talked to the doctor and we talked about all these things i just talked about and he asked me i wanted to put on antidepressants i said no even though my depression is really bad i just was not finna answer them questions so they could try to make me put on it get a put on antidepressants because it's a no for me um yeah so then he just recently prescribed me the naproxen which is a anti-inflammatory it's just a prescription strength so i'm like calling public calling public like do y'all have my prescription do y'all have my prescription and they're like we don't have it we don't have it so then i like called them back today on my lunch break called the doctor back and they're like oh we're on lunch for 12 to 1 i'm like so then i called the pharmacy and they're like we're on lunch for two to three and i'm like uh, the time it was just off <sighs> two hours later five o'clock i finally get a text it's like oh your prescription has been sent to the to them <laughs> and it was like right when i was getting home from work and i'm not supposed to live but we have visitors at work and i have to get water and stuff so i had to live some stuff and y'all your girl going through it your girl going through it my skin is pilly i need to have a freaking skincare day um what else Okay, and then, oh, fuck me. Okay. Okay, and then, I don't know why I be, I don't know, it feel like I'm talking out for real with me bending down like this. I don't need to be bending down. But, um, so yeah, now I finally got the prescription. Now I gotta leave the house again and get the goddamn prescription. <sighs> well, y'all should've did that yesterday. Like, don't this come with the primary care package? Don't, I already gotta pay, I already had to pay $80 for the blood work. Like, your girl is tired so yeah this will be going on in my life when i'm not vlogging <laughs> this is it so yeah and then work stressful Whew, it would be going through it but yeah so that's what today was i went back to work trying to get my, my social media man, management and marketing bad because basically i help manage a company that does that anyway at work and i'm just like i need extra money and extra income and i know i'm good at it i've grown multiple pages and my degree is in marketing so i'm really trying to do that with the branding with b page and stuff like that you know what i'm saying because there's room for me <laughs> but um so i'm trying to get that popping but like i said it's just a lot going on y'all and i'm just trying to be strong and i'm trying not to let any of it deter me especially with my business because there's stuff that's like it out and like it's like i didn't even exist because i just had to refund them all like it's just very frustrating when you have a vision and then you see people who don't really be going as hard or working as hard or putting as much into it, just like benefit off of it. And I don't know, you know that to God and spirituality and all like waiting for your time and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to be realistic on how I be feeling. Cause that's all good. My face and my lips are so dry. That's all good. But when you frustrated and you down and you just need something good to happen and stuff like that keep happening, it's really upsetting to see everybody else, especially people who literally benefit off your downfall, getting it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what my mind is today and this week. It's just gonna be a rough week as far as that goes, but I'm still gonna be posting and stuff like that. So and I fucking hate that I feel like I have a double chin <sighs> and it's not even that bad, but yeah, I've been babbling and complaining for like, I feel like 10 minutes, but yeah, so that's today.
Okay, the camera looked good today, but yesterday it was not looking as good. Anyway, I'm on my lunch break. I'm about to go get a probiotic drink from Publix. And I don't know, I'm like having one of those weeks where my body hungry, but I don't have an appetite. I hope my air is not too loud, but baby, it is hot. It is hot. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to eat, cause I'm just, the depression, depression. And then I tried to find some stuff to put on my looks and I can't find my damn Vaseline. It's just one of those weeks, y'all. <laughs> So I got to work today and I got like even more projects given to me. I was just like, oh, it's a stressful week. Uh, why is this week so stressful? <sighs> but yeah, that's the day of my life. We at Publix. I stay coming to Publix to get these little probiotic drinks like the doctor or something and the kombucha and the Olipop. I love me an Olipop. My favorite one is the Tropical Punch one. That shit be busting. I probably won't give me one. We'll see. <laughs> so hot okay this ain't finna be sustainable at all y'all look how sweaty i am it's so hot <laughs> but y'all okay first of all the other day i hope it's not too bad first of all the other day i tried Taco Bell fries for the first time. Why y'all ain't tell me them things is blessing? They got all the seasoning. Why y'all ain't tell me? They so good. I'm like, trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat today. I actually have an appetite today. And I'm like, I might go get me some of them Taco Bell fries. Like, rallies watch out. Like, why is Taco Bell fries good in the first place? Like, I never would have thought that. Like, second of all, I just looked at I just see that my internet is out and my apartment complex like oh our phone and internet are out so if y'all need anything please come up here and then my internet is out and they told me some oh they said it might not be resolved to 6 30 p.m 6 30 p.m y'all taking some off the bill they never want to take nothing off the bill but they always want stuff to be out like that'd be really blowing me <sighs> that's crazy I mean I'm at work but still I want my compensation. Even though I'm not there, I want my compensation. You know what I'm saying? I also got a call back from my doctor. You know how I was looking at my my lab results and I was like, ooh, some of them are hot. He, they called back and said, oh, th everything is normal, it's fine. I'm like, but the thing says I'm tired, y'all ain't say that. So are y'all trying to set me up or was the test being dramatic? Like, I really need to know the truth. Somebody tell me the truth now. <laughs> So yeah, he said, they said it was good. So that's good. And I'm going to an ortho specialist next week for my chest to see what's going on. But y'all, I've been busy all day. Like 
working hard on my projects and stuff at work i did a little montage not montage i just did like little videos of me doing random stuff at work today which is i don't know make me feel nervous but i did that and i'm gonna add it to the vlog vlog so i hope y'all like that and we had a visitor today so y'all i don't usually get dressed or put makeup on unless we have people visiting we had people visiting today so i had to get up early and do my makeup or something like that so yeah that's why i'm dressed i'm literally you know how they say when you turn 30 or you get your late 20s you go from like dressing up every day to not dressing up at all that's literally me i walk in this bitch with not sweats but leggings t-shirt and my glasses i barely wear my contacts like my eyes begin dry from like because i stare at the screen all day i'll be doing like graphics and stuff so child oh i would not be looking cute so when i put clothes on i feel like everybody be like oh you're so cute today like and i'll be like thank you or whatever <laughs> but yeah so i actually am dressed today but this ain't always how it is but anyways i got my phone propped up on this door over here and it ain't gonna work with me driving so i'm gonna go get my taco bell fries and then probably eat in my car and then go back to work because it's literally already 140 or something and i'm just not going to break because i've been busy i just got off a call with one of our marketing vendors and i had to like have like an hour call with them so yeah Whew. i'm so happy it's thursday and tomorrow's friday thank you jesus lord my savior but anyway i'm gonna get my food <laughs> update i think they got like birria tacos or something like that they're like with beef in them or whatever i got the fries and two of the birria tacos because that's a new shit you know what i'm talking about y'all i can't wait to try it last time i came out i was like i don't see the birria i don't know how to say it but it's the new tacos that has like braised beef instead of regular ground beef i got me two of them joints and they come with some special sauce and everything y'all like that's fancy but anyway I just wanted to let y'all know what I got. We secured the fries and some tacos and it's lit here. So this is what the fries look like, y'all. Wait, come on now. And it come with cheese sauce, like. It come with cheese sauce and it's so seasoned, like. Mm. They pussy. Mm, mm, mm. All right, here go the it go with the taco, right? And then it come with some red sauce and some cheese sauce. Here go the red sauce. Okay, it's called a dipping taco. I'm finna dip this bitch in here. Hold on. As y'all can tell, I haven't mastered the eating in my car, even though I eat in here a lot. Okay, cheese on the outside. Okay. Oh, oh it looks like there's actually some meat in there, y'all. Y'all know Taco Bell don't give us no meat. Okay, this little bit. So hold on. Hold on. Alright. So here go the sauce. It looks so fat from this angle. I hate that. Ooh, this sauce looks spicy. Hold on. It tastes like they took like the fire sauce and warmed it up. But anyway, you're about to try this. Oh my god, y'all look. Can y'all see that? Oh my god. Try not to drop it. It's good. Oh, this that real meat. This this that real meat. Mm, mm. And it got some kind of sauce on it. So. Y'all. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. It looks so good. Yes, I'm finna eat this. I'll be back. <laughs> wow, so my nose was peeling and it looked like I had boogies. So I don't have boogies. But my nose, y'all see my skin? My skin is in shambles. I gotta fix my skincare. But since my nose is peeling, I gotta refilm this. But basically, I was saying I'm gonna make this the last video probably of this vlog just because I feel like I've done a lot. And yeah, I think I'm gonna call it like a relatable type vlog. Like, I don't know. For the girlies who live in life, and just taking it day by day and not living the life they necessarily want but just trying to like push through and get to the life that they want you know what i'm talking about that's what i feel like my life is right now literally so hopefully y'all enjoyed it if you did comment your favorite part down below subscribe if you like it here and i'll see y'all in the next one all right